So reasons why it still behooves you to put out a newsletter that doesn't commit these sins. When you do it right, you can stay in touch with everybody with much less time than, say, poor Dave having to contact 100 people every single month or every single quarter. You probably do that anyway, but it would be nice to have that extra help so that you're doing other things. They can reinforce your brand when designed well. They can also build and strengthen relationships when they're not too corporate, when they allow people to get a sense of your personality, your business personality. For instance, how many people love Trader Joe's? Trader Joe's has a very distinct brand. Have you ever read their newsletter? They're fun. I mean, they talk about the coconut that they've sourced that's monkey picked or whatever. It's just a lot of fun. So I look forward to receiving it. And it makes me want to go to the store and I actually check off everything that I'm going to buy. That is reinforcing the brand experience when I'm not even at Trader Joe's. If you can get people to feel that way about your business, they're going to stay with you because they will love you. You're not just going to be another vendor. So the other big point is you want your newsletter to make you stand out from the competition in a very good way.